Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new here, I'm Liliana, and in today's video is another kind of carved geode cake without the crystals. If you guys want to see how I made this, well, keep on watching.
this beautiful cake was made very simple. You crumb coat, you do your second coat, pop it in the freezer, make sure that it's nice and uh, hot, the buttercream is nice and hard, and then you can go ahead and carve it um, as large or wide or high or not as you want. And then you place your little cherries, oh, but you cover the buttercream on the inside to make sure that we don't see the, the cake. So you cover that up with a little bit of buttercream, Swiss meringue or um, whipped cream also would work. And then um, you place your little cherries on the inside, finish the look with uh, edible metallic foil. And then you finish the look with a beautiful uh, cell cake topper made out of isomat. So very simple to make the isomat, but be careful. I say it in all my videos and I'm going to repeat, 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 repeat over and over again. Do not work with kids when you're working with this product because this product, when it heats up, it will burn you if you touch it. So do not touch the product when you're working with it. Tell your kids or have somebody look after your kids. Do not work with kids around this. And if you work with it yourself, please wear gloves. So like that, you don't burn yourself. I'm telling you, this is not a joke product. Um, you will burn yourself. It's, it's like you melting sugar. And you know when you melt sugar, every every baker knows this you're melting sugar and it's melting you want to do like a caramel and then it touches you and then it burns you well this is worse than that so you don't want to touch it trust me so with that said you're gonna melt your isomat and a lot of people are asking me liana do i add water to the product do um, what's the quantity that i put nothing you don't add anything to it the, the product itself comes in, in various forms. Um, it can come in powder, it can come in crystals, sometimes it comes in like little pearls. Um, so yeah, however the product comes, you just take whatever amount that you want. Doesn't matter the amount. You take whatever amount that you need, that you want, and then you place it on your pot and you leave it there you cook it on i put it like on medium low and then you just leave it there and then you mix it once in a blue moon and you will see it's going to start melting and then it will become clear so at this point when everything is melted in your pot you can go ahead and um, put a little bit of gel food coloring or liquid food food coloring right there and then if you want the whole entire thing to be the same color if not, you can simply uh, take the melted product and then place it on a silicone sheet and that you're going to place on top of a, a cookie sheet, by the way, because or else it's going to be a hot mess in your kitchen. So you're going to place the silicone sheet on top of a cookie sheet and then you're going to place your product on your silicone sheet and you're going to place it on top of any bottle that you have and then you're going to clip it everywhere however you like it and you it's it's nice to you once you like the look of how it's clipped then you're going to go and just leave it there when i say leave it there you have to leave it there leave it there for a few hours just to make sure that you don't touch it and it hardens and sets on its own okay because you're just going to remove it once it's completely set so yeah so you do that and by the way once you place the, sil the isomat the melted isomat on the the silicone sheet you can at this point add numerous colors or even just one color with a toothpick like that you zigzag it and it's when you're going to place the silicone sheet on top of your bottle the product will drag and then the color drags also. So it gives a really, really nice effect. Actually, you can do like a marble effect like that with numerous colors and it's such, it's really, really beautiful. I love this product by the way. And um, so yeah, so you, you let it set there. Um, some people were telling me, mine never works, it breaks. Yes, you know why and I'll tell you why, probably because you did it too thin. So make sure that you have quite a thick, um, uh, a thick uh, layer or else it is gonna break yeah maybe i should do a video of oh no i did it it broke so that you guys see it happens to all of us 
So when that happens, don't freak out. You know what I do? I just remove everything from my silicone sheet and I re-put it in a pot and I melt it again and then I restart because you can do that with that product. That's what I like. Unless obviously you wanted a marble effect, then you're kind of screwed because you have to really start all over from scratch. But if you're doing one color, or it was clear, you can literally just take the product that's broken in a million pieces and then just put it back on your uh, pot and then melt it again and then restart and it, it's gonna be fine. So yeah, so you do that and then when it has set, what I do is that I remove the corners a little bit slowly before removing the whole entire thing because um, once you remove the pins, it has a tendency of just like reacting itself and then it it stretches the product and then poof it breaks so if you just um remove the silicone uh everywhere from the little bowl it's going to be easier for you and just once you have your beautiful bowl you place it on your cake with a little bit of buttercream or ganache or whatever you you want to use and then you stick it there and then you fill it up with whatever you want or just leave it like that you can also paint the borders if you want and yeah um a lot of people were saying you know why mine's sticky isomat is a base of sugar so it's sometimes it depending on the the depending on the company that you're going to order from sometimes it does like it's it, it is stickier um, but what I do for mine, um, because uh, many were asking me, can I put it in a fridge? Yes, you can put it in a fridge, but I find that depending on the company that you ordered from, sometimes it's going to come foggy. So what I do is I do my isomat uh, the same day that I'm going to use the, the cake. So like that, um, I don't put it in the fridge, okay? I, the cake is in the fridge, but the isomat will be um, placed on the cake at the same day as delivery or the, or the night before. So yeah, and uh, am I missing anything? I think that's basically it. If you guys have questions, don't be shy. Ask me anything in the, in the comments down below and I'll see what I can do. And for all the products, um, go ahead and look at my description box down below. And also I have an Amazon store um, because sometimes um, we wanted a certain product and we don't remember what it was. You can go ahead and check my Amazon store and you will see the products that I use in practically all my video or my favorite products are all there. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell button so you get notified of all the videos that I put up. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.